Hey Vikings, so in today's video we're going to be covering using AutoIt to send resources via the market. If you haven't seen the first AutoIt tutorial on uh, automating tasks, you're going to probably want to go check that out to, uh, to see a step-by-step -step guide on how to set AutoIt up and how to kind of function with the very basics. It's pretty easy to work with, uh, but I'm not going to go into uh, the same level of detail as on that previous video. I'll put a link in the description down below as well as link to it on the on the video itself. But back to resources. This is pretty easy to set up. Uh, I'll put a link uh, to a paste bin of the scripts that I'm using here as well. But this is essentially what it looks like. Oops, not gonna do that. So we have the number of resource waves we want to send. You have to change that every time based on how much you're wanting to send. This is just the little uh, function that, that lets us stop the macro or the stop the script with the escape key. Um, this makes sure that your Vikings uh, browser is the one active once you start this script by hitting F5. And so it's kind of the same as uh, with the last video. The while loop is going to check to see if this value is uh, still greater than zero. And when it gets to the very bottom of it, um, where we have the while end, it's going to subtract one from that. So once this runs once, it'll change this value to 39. And it'll keep going, uh, running this whole thing over and over again until that value is uh, zero. And then it's just going to stop. So uh, for this particular script, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open your market, go to resource aid, and we'll send resources um, to this person. And the reason that uh, so much of this, uh, I don't know if I explained this before, but anything in green is a comment, so it's not actually going to run. And you can change that by either just putting a uh, semicolon or by hitting um, control Q. It's useful to use, so control Q puts these two things here and the semicolon doesn't doesn't go away with control Q so if you have comments um, you want to put them with just the colon that way you can switch in and out without having it it try to run your um, your actual comments too um, so the reason there's four or five sets you probably guessed it each one of these corresponds to the spot that or the the resource that I want to send so you have to set a, a spot for each of them. And then, so basically we want to click in the line here. You can tell it a specific amount here, but that takes a little bit longer. Um, I found it's better just to have it click in this line. You have to be a little careful when you're setting it. If you set it right there, it's not gonna recognize that. And that little spot is very odd. So you have to click a little ways in um, to make sure to grab it. But since you're automating it, it's okay if it's not 100%. And I actually, I think I set this script up for this one so it's going to be uh, part way through just so I don't run out of resources too fast but if I go ahead and run this um, oh sorry this this last line right here this is just to click the uh, the send button um, and we can actually probably lower this to less than half a second so it's gonna click that send click send so it actually goes very quickly um, if you're far away especially if you're sending resources to your stronghold, you're gonna wanna put a, a timer here. And what you, what you do with that is basically take the total round trip time, um, and then you're gonna divide it by the number of marches. So if it's 50 seconds and you have five marches, you wanna set the timer for 10 seconds between each march, that way, um, you're not going to run into issues of maxing out your marches. There's also some other stuff you can do with um, searching for color. There's a pixel search, but that that's more complicated. If you're new to this, um, this works very well. I had this send uh, on this account, actually. I, uh, I moved to a new server and gave this account over to a friend that had mega packs. So my friend uh, spent 10 bucks on it and had 12 billion resources. Uh, from the holiday offers 
and I had this uh, one of these scripts transfer it in a couple hours while I was going. I don't remember. I think I was playing Rocket League. But yeah, it's it's really nice, um, especially for stronghold sending stuff to the stronghold. I can't imagine dealing with that without it. But anyways, I want to show you one more script before we finish out today, and th today, this is a little bit more advanced. But uh, as you probably know from if you've watched any of my other videos, I have more than one account. Um, and it became kind of a, a long process every morning to log all the accounts in, to uh, send all the resources to where they needed to be sent so my production wasn't going to be capped, and to do all my task refreshers. So I set up a really long script. Well, not that long, but I set up a long script to basically handle all of those processes for me. So I just had to start that script and go brush my teeth, shower, came back and it was all done. Um, so part of that is right here. Um, so the second part, so first I would do the task refreshers and then I wanted to have the, uh, the script send the resources. So to send out all of it on this account, I needed 12 waves of stone, four waves of silver. So what I did, I set up a function. This is a little bit different, uh, but essentially it, well, it's pretty simple. Basically, if I run this line of code, it's going to run anything in the function. So other than that, a function is really not important. If I took out the function, took out this part, and then took out the end function, this would run by itself. But what it does is it lets you have this code anywhere, and then you can call it just by pressing this. So you can call this, and if it's something that's standard uh, across any of the accounts, you can have it call it at different points. So instead of having to retype all this, or have all of this code in each spot that you want to run this script, you just have this line in there. Um, so that's all a function is. So let's go through this code pretty quickly. This is just to activate the window. Uh, what this does, and there, there's definitely a better way to do this, uh, especially with the pixel search. Um, Nikki Poo, I swear I'll get to that eventually, one day. Um, but what this was just doing is clicking out, because it would be, it would always finish on the task refreshers, and I just wanted to, to close this window, so it would click over here somewhere. And then uh, the send command is essentially like you typing that in. So whatever is in this little spot right here, it'll go ahead and um, enter it into your computer. So the S uh, hotkey on your uh, computer will open your market. So that's the first step. And then we need to find who we want to send it to. Um, so this selects this, the um, search bar and then another send will type in uh, clan stronghold right here. Um, I don't normally do clan stronghold, but I don't know. Uh, we're doing it for this one. And then we go ahead and send the resources. And then it's got uh, while loops like we saw in this first script, uh, but it, it doesn't have all of these extra ones because it's only sending one type. So it's got the number of stone, uh, rounds to send and the number of silver and it's just going to do a little loop like uh, we saw before this one's going to be a little weird because it's uh, when I run this because since it's, it's going to the stronghold it's going to offer to let me send coal and scrolls so instead of stone and silver I think we're going to do like iron and lumber um, but uh, yeah so I'll go ahead and, and run this so I'm leaving this uh, with the task open just so you can see how it'll work with that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F5 to run. I'm gonna click out there, close it, open the market with that S key, type in clan stronghold, click send resources. And then I set it to, again, to a small amount just so it wouldn't run out while it's um, processing this. Oh. <laughs> so it stopped there. Uh, well, this is, from me hitting escape just now, this little uh, thing. But I 
yeah, I forgot. I'm sending it to Stronghold for the this demonstration, so it ran out of um, ran out of marches. Usually, the script just runs to a city next to it, and it's pretty much instant. Well, it is instant. Um, you see a little flash, and it's done. But yeah, so that's essentially it. If you have any questions about this, hit me up. I'll probably be doing uh, additional auto it um, little guides or whatnot. Um, I also use this to train, like, train all my troops. If uh, there's a, a troop training event to boost or uh, getting tongue tied, when there's a troop training event, I'll use this to boost out tier one. So it'll come in here, it'll click, and um, actually, I have it type here just so I can get the exact number and then I'll have it use a boost. Um, just other little menial tedious tasks that you can tell the uh, computer what you want it to do and it's going to be pretty repetitive. Um, so look out for those. If you found this video helpful or interesting please hit that like button and uh, if you're interested in more content on how to min-max your Viking account Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all soon.